Hey, what is going on everybody and welcome back to another video. One of my favorite things to do in the kitchen is kind of take different recipes, put them together, work on those flavors. So today I kind of made like an Asian burrito and not a traditional burrito with flour or corn tortillas, but actually I used a rice paper wrapper, um, which wets down, you can roll it all up. And then the star of the show in this one is gonna be kind of a Sum Tum inspired salad. So normally this is made with green papaya. I didn't have green papaya on its hand, so I made it with some, just some cabbage sliced thin, but it's really flavorful. You get the fish sauce, some lime juice, fresh garlic, and just a bunch of bursting aromatics. So hope you guys enjoy the video. And if you wanna stay updated with the rest of my videos, um, feel free to subscribe and drop a like and let's get cooking. So a green papaya salad traditionally is really just lightly bashing up some ingredients in a mortar and pestle. And I believe they have a special mortar and pestle called a crook that they use, but I'm just using a granite one that I have. If you don't have a mortar and pestle, maybe just try bashing it in a bag with maybe a rolling pin or something like that. But all I'm doing to start is really try to balance all these flavors. So apart from our garlic and chilies, we're really just trying to balance three different flavors. And that's gonna be sweet, salty, and sour. So we're getting our sweet from some sugar that I added in the beginning with the garlic. Traditionally, I think you'd use palm sugar. Two is the salty, which we're going to be adding fish sauce and towards the end. And then three is sour. And that is gonna be provided from the lime juice and just from bashing up that lime peel in there and really melding all those flavors together um, to your taste is really is what's gonna make this dish awesome. So for me, I like adding a little bit of fresh herbs. So I threw in some cilantro as well. And then if we take a look at this, see no, it's not bashed up to a fine paste. It's just bashed up to start letting those flavors release, letting those chilies release the capsaicin, letting those cilantro pop open, and just letting all those flavors start working together. And I'm gonna give a quick slice of the cabbage, and then I'm also gonna be throwing in some cherry tomatoes. And then as we throw these in, we're gonna mix in those other ingredients that we had already bashed up and just lightly toss everything, let everything get comfortable with each other. So you can see I poured in everything here and then at the end, I'm just gonna add some fish sauce. So I would definitely recommend adding your fish sauce at the end. It can be a little overpowering, so you wanna be careful with how much you're using. So I would estimate I'm using about a tablespoon and this is one of those things where I'd maybe throw in a few dashes, stir it up and taste it. If it needs a little more, taste it again, etc., etc., until you find what you're looking for. And then all I'm trying to do is lightly bruise those tomatoes and cabbage. And there we have it. Beautiful dish, super flavorful. I ate almost all of this right after I got done making it. I could stay away. And then now we're gonna move to my laziest chicken recipe when I don't have much time. Um, I made this for lunch, so I only had like 30 minutes. So all I'm doing for this chicken is dicing it up into small pieces, popping in one clove of garlic through the garlic crusher, and then I'm gonna put about a tablespoon, it's probably about a little knob of garlic through right here. And then to that, all we're gonna add is soy sauce, rice vinegar, and a little bit of sugar. So about two tablespoons of soy sauce, and then we're gonna add maybe half a tablespoon of rice vinegar, and that's gonna give us some nice brightness to the dish to balance out the salty and the sweet from the sugar. And then give that a shake up. Let that sit for maybe five, 10 minutes. You can cook it right away if you want to as well. And then all we're gonna do is throw this onto a medium high heat cast iron and let everything saute down kind of get those caramelized crispy bits on the outside. So let's start a time lapse. All right, 
right, so this is probably about after 10 minutes or so. You can see we got some nice little caramelized bits on the outsides from the soy sauce and that sugar we added. And let's go assemble this thing. All right, so here comes our tortilla. So all I did is get these spring roll wrappers from a local international grocery store. And they're really cheap. They were like 160 or something for like 20 of those wrappers right there. And all you do is throw some water on them, soak it all over. And then as that water soaks in, you'll get this nice pliable texture. And then that's when you know you're ready to roll. And I will say, these are really a fun to experiment with. You know, you can do Asian style dishes, but I've done tons and tons of things in these. I mean, I, if I have any kind of meat and vegetables, I'll just throw them in, make a wrap because who doesn't love that? So as we take a look here, I'm gonna add a bunch of cilantro. I love cilantro. Get some more fresh herbs, and then let's take a quick look at this inside before we roll it up. So we've got our nice chicken. We've got that beautiful sumtum salad. I'm salivating over it right now still. And then obviously our cilantro. And then all you're gonna do to roll these up is just kind of peel it up and roll the edges, and then roll it all the way down. And now we are about ready to enjoy. But before we do, let's quickly talk nutrition and price. 425 calories, 28 grams carbs, 56 grams of protein, 9 grams of fat. And then the price is 169. And this is an awesome quick dish. I actually made this over lunch. It took me like 45 minutes, everything from scratch. So hope you guys give it a try. I know I'm going to enjoy this one. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one.